guess the biggest goal na gusto namin is to improve our credibility. If not, at least be at par with among those other government agencies na yung credibility nila talagang andun yung tiwala ng tao. Never pang na-achieve ng Bureau of Customs yun. Well, for the longest time, the Bureau of Customs has always had uh, its sensitivities to automation. It has been suggested, several investigations, uh, several congressional hearings has determined that uh, the way to move forward is to automate. Pero pong may kita mo, majority of customs personnel, even customs administration in the past, even if they try, there seems to be a very big stumbling block in fully automating the Bureau of Customs. Previously po magulo, tapos palipat-lipat po ng, ano, ng mga opisina. So hindi alam ng broker tsaka ng importer kung saan siya pupunta pag naglipat. Pati yung mga dokumento nawawala. Before kasi, sa pila, sobrang hassle kasi hindi siya yung dati. Parang, oh, oh, oh ganitong oras, parang hindi naman natatapos din ng ganong oras. So, sobrang maghapon na ganon. Precisely the Bureau, before the establishment of the Customer Care Center, was conventional. I say conventional since majority of our BOC processes are paper transactions. There are manual transactions that the stakeholders have to go table by table, office by office, just to check the documents or inquire about the status of their uh, shipments in even complaints. Uh, our administration really fought for us to have an automated system. And it proved to be very effective, especially now in the recent pandemic na ating lahat pinagdaanan. We are gearing towards a new custom system, a new computerized system that is modern, that every Filipino can be proud of, that will address all the problems uh, that's been plaguing the Bureau of Customs. But more than that, even in the interim period, nagsagawa rin kami ng mga improvements sa current system namin para walang pagbabago dun sa pinangako namin mas magandang serbisyo, even if we're working on a new system. One of the more important aspects of the Philippine Customs Modernization Project with the World Bank is changing the way the Bureau will deploy its resources. Currently, manpower and operational resources of the BOC are heavily invested in the assessment, payment, and clearance processes. There is a huge difference actually. So for manual processing through the automation which is in place and we started that last year, as to the convenience as to on the part of the clients and on the part of the Bureau of Customs, there is really a huge difference. In terms of uh, the importers and the customs brokers, it is really convenient for them right now to file applications because we are now accepting online applications. So no face-to-face -face transaction and then we shorten also the, the requirements as well as the processing of accreditation applications. So big difference. A government agency, a national government agency for that matter, should be given a direction. It should have a direction, which is the reason why we enrolled to the performance governance system of the Institute for Solidarity in Asia. The performance governance system is a system or a program by which the performance of the bureau personnel from top to bottom, from the commissioner up to down to the lowest level of salary grade one of utility personnel will be able to improve the manner that they will perform their individual functions towards the attainment of the mission of the Bureau of Customs. We have professionalized the enforcement and security service. Number one, in terms of recruitment, in terms of improvement of the training of our personnel, and number three, in terms of the direction that we are going. We are collecting so much revenue right now, low full revenue because of what is being done. We have also invested in terms of automation natin regarding itong tracking natin of containers. That's also a very big step towards the professionalization of the Bureau of Customs. We have a lot of trade facilitation programs. Isa na dito yung e track which is the electronic tracking of containerized cargoes. Without this system, transfers of certain containers for example, to uh, CBWs or the uh, PESA zones, they are being underguarded. So with the e track system, which is a GPS-enabled system, which enables the Bureau of Customs to uh, monitor real-time 
the movement of containerized cargoes inland. There is no more need for uh, physical underguarding. This will help the uh, stakeholders and this is a big help in trade facilitation. Now what we have is the EBIRS, which is the Enhanced Value Reference Information System. So the EBIRS actually is the evolution of the NDBS. When we embarked on the project of evaluation database, it was just a temporary measure to determine possible trade misinvoicing and possible undervaluation of goods. We learned from the challenges of the NDBS and then we also partnered with an international customs expert to help us develop what we have now, the EVRS, which we consider as the first fully developed national valuation database in the Philippines. Apart from all the other technical enhancements of the system, the recently launched or activated Orange Lane, it's actually a solution for us to delineate what is for physical examination and what is for non-intrusive inspections. Or we wanted to maximize the newly acquired X-ray machines. And at the same time, it's also parallel to the earlier activity, which is more intelligence-based risk assessment and more targeted. Gone are the days wherein everything must be subjected to inspection. So we are gearing towards less control for trade facilitation purposes, pero maximize border protection. In uh, August of 2019, we did launch this hotline number. It invites the public to report all corruption-related matters. It provides a safety net. It assures our people, especially those transacting business with government, that their goods are secured from possible competitors that would have similar goods without permits. And these goods will be health hazards. The measures of like detecting, seizing illegal goods would protect citizens and our country, our economy from the illicit trade that is attempting to uh, get in the country without paying the necessary taxes and duties. With the automation of the OC procedures, the stakeholders are allowed to transact with the Bureau from the comfort of their home or their offices. Basta meron lang silang available na web-connected electronic device. Kahit saan yan, pwede nilang gawin. We are uh, currently at our eight months in pursuing to an ISO accreditation. I think the stakeholders are very positive to the service of the Customer Care Center, especially the use of the Customer Care Portal system. It is not only in the central office, not in Port of Manila, but bureau-wide, from Port of Apari to Port of San Buanga nga. Before kasi, nung nagpa-process kami, uh, nakakapasok kami niyan, manual, pero parang mas mabilis compare before sa ngayon, mas mabilis ngayon. Sobrang iba. Kasi dati, talagang pipila ka pa, tapos maghintay ka pa. Ngayon, matik ang bilis talaga. Sobra. Malaki ang pagbabago. Kasi online, hindi mawawala yung dokumento. At the same time, hindi na rin kami nagpupunta ng peer para magpa-receive ng mga hard copy, especially renewal, lalo na ngayong pandemic. Kami mga senior citizen, bawal nang lumabas. Sa totoo lang, kaya lang kami pupunta para merong importanteng bagay na ipa-follow up. So, convenience po. Convenience. Nagulong po yung convenience. The very concrete result of this automation of our frontline services, we are no longer in the list of agencies which have the most number of complaints according to the Anti-Red Tape Authority. And I'm very proud to say that hindi kami kasama doon sa top 10. When I want to see, at least, sana, uh, even if wala na ako dito, sana makita ko one day na yung Bureau of Customs through what we've did so far. Uh, makita ko na mag-change talaga yung image niya sa tingin ng mga Pilipino. Napakalaking bagay nun. Makita na ang tingin ng mga Pilipino sa Bureau of Customs ay credible, uh, hindi corrupt, at maasahan. Yun lang, uh, pag nakuha namin yun, siguro maari na kami lahat magpahinga at magretiro at uh, mapagmalaki kung ano man yung nagawa namin dito sa Bureau. I have these uh, high hopes that soon the Bureau of Customs of the Philippines will be at par with the best uh, customs administrations in the world uh, like uh, that of Japan, South Korea, or Singapore because we have this uh, World Customs Organization talagang hindi magtatagal, no? 
uh, the Bureau of Customs will be transformed into a Bureau of Customs that every Filipino will be proud of. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. Makikita nyo the way that the Bureau of Customs has improved our integrity, our credibility. Ako, I can really say how we have gone so far and we will reach the point that we will show to the people paano magbigay ng servisyo na credible and sincere. Ako, I'm proud that meron tayong roadmap eh. May, may, may pupuntahan yung project. We hope that this continues. Uh, even kahit hindi na ako yung nandito, part of it nga nung ang ISO namin, gagawin natin standard yung operations ng customer care center para kahit palitan natin ang facility, ang tao o ang resources nandun ng process for the stakeholders. I've been with the Bureau for more than 30 years. I was in my 20s when I came here, no? late 20s, right after I passed the bar. So, nakita ko na ito, commissioners come and go, no? yung mga empleyado. And I believe the Bureau is not hopeless. Not all of the people here are corrupt. I really want the Bureau to be, ang sabi nga ng isa, an island of good governance. Ibig sabihin, maayos ang pagsisilbi ng mga empleyado sa kanilang stakeholders. That every government employee is a public servant, alila ng bayan, literally. The personnel of the Bureau of Customs has always wanted uh, change. I think they're tired already of the brand that has give, been given to them na corrupt, inefficient, masasamang mga tao. Kahit sino naman, may mga pamilya din naman yung mga yan. And uh, I think all of us can relate that when we go home, more than what we provide to our families, we just want to be recognized as good persons. We still want to be recognized as good examples to our children. At hindi ko iba yon dito sa mga kawani ng Bureau of Customs. Majority naman ng mga kawani ng Bureau of Customs, from the lowest rank up to siguro sa mga rango namin mga Deputy Commissioners, hanggang kay Commissioner, nagkakaisa kami na baguhin na tong sistema na to. Baguhin na yung Bureau of Customs. For once, umuwi kami sa mga bahay namin kaya namin sabihin sa mga anak namin na sa Bureau of Customs kami nagtatrabaho at maging proud sila.